Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to uh, today's Streetwise Live, or uh, whatever, we, whatever we're calling it nowadays. Uh, so nice to be with you all. Uh, my name's Jonathan. If you don't know me, I'm one of the Streetwise leaders uh, in Manchester, which is where I am now. The sun is shining here. It's very warm. What a wonderful day to be uh, singing together. Uh, I hope you're all doing as well as you can. Um, shout out to anyone watching from uh, the London groups. Hope you're doing well. Hey to anyone watching from the Nottingham groups. Uh, really hope you're doing well. Let's head up to the Northeast. Hello to anyone from Middlesbrough, from Gateshead, from Newcastle. Hope you're really well too. And, and last but by no means least, hello to anyone watching from Manchester. Hello to the Booth Centre group and hello to uh, the uh, wonderful art gallery group. Uh, really miss you all. Jenny and Sarah send their love as well. Uh, yeah, hope you're all doing really well. Um, so nice to be back with you. We've got an action-packed session as always. We're gonna be diving into uh, one of my favorite operas, uh, which is uh, gonna be really exciting. Got a little bit of, uh, of a question for you to be mulling over. And if you have any answers, love you to pop those in the chat. Uh, and we'll use them a bit later. My question is, what is a song or a piece of music that reminds you of where you grew up or reminds you of growing up, reminds you of your youth or your childhood? A song or a piece of music that really transports you back to when you were younger. What is that song that, that really just instantly summons up that, that, old, that old time in our lives? Uh, I was thinking for me, uh, the one that came to mind was the song Perfect Day. Do you remember that one? That was like a, it was a big charity single in the 90s. It was, oh, it's such a perfect day. You know that one, and loads of people sang it. And I just remember we got it on cassette when I was, when I was a kid and uh, played it in the car uh, all the time. So whenever I hear that song, I always transport it right back to uh, my, uh, my, my childhood. Uh, so yeah. If you can think of any of those, so a song that makes you think of where you grew up or how you grew up, and um, pop that in the chat, and we're going to use those ideas a little bit later. Well, as always, we want to get ourselves ready for the session ahead. We want to get our bodies, our voices, our minds all uh, ready for that, uh, for, for, what, for what we've got planned. So take a little moment, get yourself into a good uh, standing position if you're stood or if you're if you're sitting make sure you sit up nice and straight I'm going to say standing if that's okay what we want is everything to be nice and lined up so you want your shoulders to be sort of in line with your feet and your hips keep it nice and relaxed like that give your shoulders a little bit of a roll great to see these ideas coming in it's very exciting I'll read those properly a little bit later give yourselves a bit of a roll backwards to start with is great, lovely. Give them a little roll forwards, lovely stuff. Just do one backwards, really lovely. Do the other one forwards. I should say, if you've got any pain in your shoulders, don't do it. Look after yourselves. Other shoulder forwards. Here's the trick. If you can, I can't really do it. Keep have one going backwards and one going forwards at the same time. I think it looks a bit like this, but I could be wrong. And if you're feeling really tricky, do the opposite. So then the Backwards one goes forwards and vice versa. My brain's melting, who knows? It's really, really nice. Give your neck a little bit of a roll round one way then the other way. Really nice. Really nice, lovely stuff. Nice and easy, clickety click for me. Dear me. Can you make your face go uh, as big as you can get it like this? Ha! Ah, really sort of stretch it out as far as you can. Aha! And then do the opposite. Can you make it go really small and just go like this? Really good, then big, and small, then big, and small, big, small. Give it a shake, <laughs> really rigorous one, like you're a, a bulldog in, in the Churchill Insurance adverts. <laughs> really good, see if you can do that in a, in a high bit of your voice, so we can go. <laughs> like an electric mixer, uh, and they'll do it really low in your voice. <laughs> in my head is the sort of angry horse, uh, move blow. Really good. See if you can shake it uh, in this sort of shape. Try that with me. Follow my finger. Sounding very good. 
So you do the opposite. We're going to start high, go low, then go high again. So start here. Here we go. Really, really good. Getting those vocal cords nice and warmed up. Do that with a bit of singing. So we're just going to go. Try that with me. Should say if you find the difficult, absolutely fine. I find it really hard for ages. You could do a rolled R instead. You go Spanish, or you could do a sound. Any of those is great. Do it here. So I'm going to roll my R this time. Pick whatever sound you want. Let's do one more. I'm going to this time. Your turn. Really good. If you've just joined us in the last few minutes, uh, I'm Jonathan. Really nice to see you. Set a bit of a homework question throughout the session. The question is what song or piece of music reminds you of growing up, reminds you of like the place you grew up in, or reminds you of being younger? Uh, a song or a piece of music, write them in the comments. We're going to use them a bit later. Now, still warming up, but we're going to get into our opera zone. The opera we're going to be exploring today and on Wednesday as well with Tim is The Merry Widow, which I know some of the groups have done. We did Manchester, I think Nottingham have as well. Wonderful opera, quite glamorous. It's set in Paris. I think I did La Boheme last time. That was set in Paris too. We love Paris. About 100 years ago, turn of the century, it's very glamorous and swanky. It takes place at a lot of balls, embassies, really exciting places. I feel a little bit underdressed for that. So I might just take a moment while you're thinking of any more songs that remind you of where you grew up to get into a little bit more of an elegant frame of mind. Uh, what else have I got? Might, might whack this bow tie on as well to make us feel really in the zone. If you've got anything swanky lying around, feel free to put that on. There we go. I do have a, a top hat as well. I don't think that'll stay in my head while we're doing it. Maybe I'll just I'll just hang that on the on the keyboard and then it can be in shot. It'll definitely fall off. Let's put it back down again. So it's Paris, turn of the century. One of the things it's most famous for is the Moulin Rouge, the big dance club, where they famously dance the can-can. So we're gonna use the can-can to keep warming up. You know the can-can, I'm sure. La 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 that one. Ready? Let's sing it through together just to la. If you know it, there's a version of Ashford. I want to be but la 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 I find good, helpful thing, time you go up to the high note, raise your eyebrows, it does helpful things to all the muscles in our face and our mouth. So, la 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 la. So when the high bit comes, eyebrows up. Ready? Two, three, four. La 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 so good. Now it's a warm day, but should we get a bit of dancing in as well? You probably have in your minds the sort of the dancing girls in the Moulin Rouge be a bit of a kick line. So make sure you don't break anything or break any people around you. So what you need to do, you sort of step on your left foot and kick your right leg up. Then you step the other way with your right foot and kick your left leg up. So this goes step, kick, step, kick, step, kick, step, kick, step, kick, step, kick. So if we're singing at the same time, we may expire, but let's try anyway. It's gonna go la 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 la. You get the idea. I'll leave the dancing to you and I'll just do the singing. Okay, where were we? And let's go away. La one, two, three. I wish I could see your amazing kick line. That's brilliant. If you want to imagine you have one of those amazing skirts as well, you could throw that in to really get the full Moulin Rouge pictures. Do one more, a bit higher. 
bit faster as well. Remember, step, kick, step, kick. I want to think, but la 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 Two, three, four. Goodness me, I'm absolutely knackered already. <laughs> Hope you are still uh, with a bit of energy left now that we've got ourselves warmed up. Let's dive into the Merry Widow a little bit further. So we've said it's set in Paris. It's about a brilliant woman called Hannah. Hannah Glavari is her name. She is a widow, as we know from the title. She's still quite young, but her husband has died and has left her loads of money. So she's a very wealthy widow, is the big thing. And as we know, wealthy people, they often have a lot of admirers. And Hannah's no exception. Hannah comes from a little country, not a real country, but a fun one in the opera, called Ponteviedro. Ponteviedro. The people who live there, very proud of their country. Now, what they really want to do is make sure Hannah, if she marries again, she marries someone from Pontevedra because they want to keep her wealth in the country. They really care about their country. Okay? They love singing about it, singing the anthem. So she is full of admirers. But there's one man watching from far off, a count called Count Danilo. They used to be an item back in the day, but it didn't work out. The families didn't prove of one another didn't manage to, to get together. And now many years later, they meet again in Paris. She's surrounded by her admirers. What's going to happen? It's a very romantic tale. Now, a bit more dancing for you. This is a bit more sedate. I'm going to try a little bit of waltzing. Now, if you know anything about waltzing, you know it's got a count of three. One, two, three, two, two, three. Let's just try counting. So one, two, three, two, two, three. One, two, three, two, two. Three. One, two, three, two, two, three. Can we get a bit of a sway in? So we'll go, each time we do a one or a two at the start of the three. Go on, next. we'll go. One, two, three, two, two, three. 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 Can you imagine now you're dancing with some wonderful person? You can decide who that would be. Let your mind go wild. So we add them as well. Here we go. One, two, three, two, two, three. One, two, three, two, two, three. Oh goodness! The whole the nation is dancing. I wish I could see you. I bet it looks sublime. If you want to be really fancy, you could try turning on the spot as you dance. Okay, have a go at that. One, two, three, two, two, three. One, two, three, two, two, three. Four, two. Three, two, two, three. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to give you some accompaniment this time. This is like the big tune in the Merry Widow, the big famous song. I'll play it for you. You have a lovely dance, little waltz round. See how many turns you can get in. And still be thinking, the quiz question, what's a song that reminds you of where you grew up or how you grew up? A song or a piece of music? Put it in the chat if you've thought of any. Take your partners, please, ladies and gentlemen. Ready? A one, two, three, two, two. Keep dancing, I'm gonna sing for you. La 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 Oh, I bet that was sublime. I wonder if you recognise the tune you might have learnt it in a workshop or just picked it up. Really lovely. We've got some words to it that help us tell the story of the Merry Widow, okay? Dead easy words help us get our heads around what happens in this. So it goes like this. Uh, some words might appear on the screen, which would be extra magical. We go. I'll say a line, you say it back to me. 
Sing the tale of Hannah and Count Danilo. Say that to me. Sing the tale of Hannah and Count Danilo. Next line. Lovers once, but separated long ago. Try that. Lovers once, but separated long ago. Next line. Fortune reunites them. Say that to me. Fortune reunites them. Bit of French coming up. In La Belle Paris, which means the beautiful Paris. In La Belle Paris. Say that. In La Belle Paris. Last line. Secretly, they long to ask, do you love me? Secretly, they long to ask, do you love me? Dead easy tune. So we go like this. Sing the tale of Hannah and Count Daniel. Give that a go with me. Sing the tale of Hannah and Count Daniel. Next line. Lovers once but separated long ago. Try that. Lovers once but separated long ago. Next line. Fortune reunites them in La Belle Paris. Give that a go for me. Fortune reunites them in La Belle Paris. Last line. Secretly they long to us. Do you love me? How wonderful. Shall we join it all together? Sing the tale of Hannah and Count Danilo. It goes like this. Here we go. A one and a two. Sing the tale of Hannah and Count Danilo. Lovers once but separated long ago. Fortune reunites them in La Belle Paris. Secretly they long to us. Do you love me? It's a hard question to ask to one, isn't it? Do you love me? It's what Hannah and Danilo desperately want to know about one another. Let's go to the second verse of our story song. Hopefully you can see it on the screen. Here we go. I'm going to say it like you say it back to me. Hannah's wealth makes suitors try to win her heart. Try that. Hannah's wealth makes suitors try to win her heart. Suitors being the people trying to get her to marry them. Next line, Danilo's the one she's loved though from the start. Say that with me. Danilo's the one she's loved though from the start. Here's the happy ending, now they both agree. Try that. Here's the happy ending, now they both agree. All that counts is I love you and you love me. All that counts is I love you and you love me. Beautiful. It's exactly the same tune as the first verse. So we see if we can go straight in and sing it together. I'll sing it loudly. Join in when you can. So Hannah's wealth. Here we go. One, two. Hannah's wealth makes suitors try to win her heart. Danny loves the one she's loved the from the start. Here's the happy ending, now they both agree. All that counts is I love you and you love me. How beautiful. Thank you for seeing that with me. That gives you an idea of the world we're in, glamour and love and wealth, all of these things. Now, at the top of our session, I asked you for some ideas about songs or pieces of music that remind you of where you're from or remind you of growing up, okay? I'm gonna head, head into the chat. Isn't this technical, eh? Oh, I've gone very white, like an angel. Oh, I'm back again, this is good. Let's have a look at what we've got in the chat. I'm excited to hear these answers. Okay, 
We've got Jamie Sample says, don't look back in anger. Absolute Mancunian classic. Clarence says, on Mother Kelly's doorstep. Philip Jones says, the sparrow by the ramblers. Martin says, the barren nights, get down Shep, Blue Peter. Mm, that might be before my time, something to do with Blue Peter. Bridget, we've got like a bridge over troubled water, what a classic, and of course it's Big River for Dave which we all sang together in that show. Clarence has got, oh, another idea, Kate Bush's Wuthering Heights. Louise, oh, my Bonnie lies over the ocean, which my, which her mom used to sing. And Jamie's just gone with, don't look back in anger again, to really make sure we've got it. What absolutely fantastic answers from everyone. And songs do have that power, don't they, of reminding us where they're from. There's a bit in The Merry Widow where Hannah, the main character, she sings a folk song from Ponte Viedro, where she grew up to sort of help her feel, feel, remember those happy times when she was younger. It's about a sort of magical creature called a Vilia. A Vilia. Can you say that? Vilia. It's like a Vilia, which is like sort of a spirit lady that lived in the forest and she appears to people and they fall in love with her. And Hannah sings this beautiful song. It's really nice. One of the best bits in the opera. I'm going to sing a bit of it now. So Vilia is the word. So the words are, hopefully they'll be on the screen for you. Vilia, o Vilia, enchanting and fair. Can you say that? Vilia, o Vilia, enchanting and fair. Then we've got sorcerer's child with the stars in your hair. Can you say that for me? Sorcerer's child with the stars in your hair. So she might be the child of a magician, a wizard, a sorcerer. Velia, oh Velia, a face without flaw. Say that for me. Velia, oh Velia, a face without flaw. Flaw meaning uh, anything wrong with it. It's a perfect face. So beautiful. Last line. When shall I see you once more? Say that with me. When shall I see you once more? The idea. Once you've seen the Velia, all you want to do is see her again. Beautiful song. Dead easy. Let me teach you the tune. <laughs> Filia, oh Filia, enchanting and fair. Give that a go. Filia, oh Filia, enchanting and fair. And we've got this. Sorcerous child with the stars in your hair. Give that a go. Sorcerer's child with the stars in your hair. Try that for me, getting those two lines together from the first video. Vilia, oh Vilia, enchanting and fair. Sorcerer's child with the stars in your hair. High note coming up. Put those tricks from the warp into practice. Get those eyebrows up, goes like this. Vilia, oh, Vilia. Go right up on the yard at the end. Eyebrows up. Here we go. Vilia, oh, Vilia. Beautiful. You can linger on that little moment. A face without flaw. A face without flaw. Try that. A face without flaw. So let's do that line. Vilia, oh Vilia, face without flaw. Remember the high note. Here we go. Vilia, oh Vilia, face without flaw. Last line. When shall I see you once more? Give that a go. When shall I see you? Once more. So good, let's try it from the top. Here we go. From the very first video. Oh, one, two. Vilia, oh, Vilia, enchanting and fair. Sorcerous child with the stars in your hair. Vilia, oh, Vilia. Without flaw, when shall I see you once more? Beautiful, so good. Well, hope you.
be fun just to help us think about how we might stage this or act it to look at some example pictures of how other opera companies have stayed in the past. So hopefully with the magic of technology, you're gonna see a few pictures on the screen. So the first one coming up, this is from the Opera North production that some of you saw. Uh, this is the moment when the Velia song is sung and they've done it that Hannah sort of is separate from everyone else. Can you see in the pictures, she's sort of taking herself off by herself, people watching her in the background, she's singing, Oh, that lovely, those folk songs she used to hear as a child. Lovely. Next picture. This is from, I think, the Metropolitan Opera in New York. You see how they've done it. They've, um, they've got uh, Hannah in the middle, bits of Sound of Music, and everyone sort of sitting around her, um, listening to her song, a bit like, you know, Julie Andrews with the Von Trapp family singers, and she's singing to them like that. That might be a way to do it. Final picture. I mean, this is pretty special. This is from the English National Opera version that was just on last year. And they've done it. They've really embraced the sort of early 20th century, like MGM musical state. Hannah's comes down on a moon above the guests at her party to sing Velia from above them. I mean, terrifying for the soprano. I think it's Sarah Tynan but to be suspended above everyone singing these beautiful high notes. But it looks pretty special, doesn't it? Beautiful. So have a little think. Which of those, or you could think of your own idea, how are you going to stage your feeling? Are you going to do it as if you're all alone? Maybe find a space in your room, wherever you're watching this, with lots of space around you, and really think about how she might sing this, thinking of her homeland. Maybe you like the version where everyone's around her listening. You could grab, if you've got any unsuspecting people with you, you could grab them and ask them to listen to you. You could pull up some chairs, arrange them around you. You know, or you might want to go for, you know, the ENO version where she's on a moon. Maybe if you have a chair or a, or a, well, just be safe, whatever you're standing on, you could sit or stand on something, raise you up above the room, looking down on people, uh, whatever you want. Or you might want to think of something different, but think about Hannah, she's, all these people are clamoring to marry her. She takes this moment to remember the country she grew up in and sing her video song, okay? So uh, stage yourself on your own with people, on a moon, whatever you like. We're going to sing that song as Hannah telling us about her home. It's ready? Here we go. Vilia, a one, two. Vilia, oh Vilia, enchanting and fair. Sorcerous child with the stars in your hair. Vilia, oh Vilia, a face without flaw. When shall I see you once more? Oh, I wish I could see your staging. I bet it's amazing. Let's just add in the grand finale. Stay wherever you are in your stage positions. She repeats, see you once more. First it goes, and it gets higher and higher. We go, see you once more. Give that a go. See you once more. Once more, the last two words. Two options. You can go once more. Fair. Once more. If you're feeling very brave, you could go even higher. I don't know if I've got this in me today, especially with the bow time. You go once more. You're really high at the end. If you're a brave soul, try that with me. Here we go. Once more. So we go, see you once more. Once more, more. Let's go from see you once more. Here we go. See you once more. Once more. Uh, it's not surprising she has suitors falling at her feet, not just for her money, for her amazing singing, as you just demonstrated. Folks, thank you so much for joining me today. I've had an absolute blast. I hope you have too. More Merry Widow fun to come this week in your tea breaks uh, with Tim again on Wednesday. So keep in this wonderful world of Paris and glamour and this country of Pontefiedro. Keep that all knocking around. Lots more to come on that. Um, 
yeah, I send you all my very best wishes and I hope uh, you're staying uh, positive uh, and energized in this crazy old time. We miss you so much and we can't wait to see you for real very soon. Thanks again. Bye, everyone. Bye, 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 bye.